what are my favorite Louis Vuitton items in my collection? I've been thinking about Louis Vuitton a little bit more lately. I've been seeing some pieces that have really caught my eye and I've been reflecting on what I have from the fashion house already. So I thought it would be fun to go through my small Louis Vuitton collection with you guys and tell you guys what my favorite pieces are that I already have and also what pieces I am looking into getting. Hi guys, my name is Alana and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Here we discuss all things fashion, luxury, and handbags. So if those are things that are interesting to you, then I hope you would do me the favor of hitting the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. I do post videos every week and we are getting so close to that thousand subscriber mark and I truly appreciate all of your support. Now let's get into today's video. As I mentioned, we're gonna be talking about Louis Vuitton and some of my favorite pieces that I have in my collection. Now, I do have to say, when I started off branching out into luxury items, Louis Vuitton was the first fashion house that I really had looked into. I think part of that is the fact that I had seen a lot of Louis Vuitton pieces growing up and some of the most iconic collections that I'm familiar with in the fashion industry are from Louis Vuitton. Now, I will say I do have some hits and misses in my collection, but today we're gonna be talking about my hits. I'm gonna start off with a recent piece. This is actually the most recent Louis Vuitton piece I got in my collection, and that is the Louis Vuitton key pouch. And this is in the beautiful classic monogram. And this is a piece that I have recently picked up. It's been less than a year that I've had it, but for the months I have had it, I have not put it down. This has been my go-to Louis Vuitton piece absolutely definitely has the best cost for wear and it is something as i said i truly use every single day what i love about this piece is the fact that it does have and therefore you can put your keys on here so i always keep my keys attached and as well i will put my car fob on there at times too what i love about this is the fact that it keeps all of my keys as well as my cards and cash in one place whereas if you have a traditional wallet Yes, you might be able to get more things in it, for example, but I find it's a little bit less multifunctional. So a prime example of this is my Rosalie coin purse, and this is actually the SLG that I purchased first. I thought this was a great piece because it does have quite a solid capacity. It expands quite a bit. There is a zipper here. There is a slip pocket in the back. So I thought this would be a great SLG, and it was the first small wallet that I did get from the brand. However, in hindsight, the right choice to make <laughs> was definitely the key pouch. I love its very slim profile, so this fits into all of my mini bags. I am a mini bag lover. And again, the fact that I can have everything all together, whether it's my keys, my cash, or my cards, I can really appreciate that. Now, another thing I wanna mention is the price of this. This has now gone well over $400 in Canadian, which to me just seems a little bit absurd, I'm not going to lie. And if you are like me and you do not wanna pay that price for a small SLG, although I will say, I do think if you're like me, you will get your cost per wear out of the piece, I wanted to go a different route in order to pick up this piece. So I was looking pre-loved and I saw that you could get some fairly good deals with a key pouch and monogram in pretty good condition. What ended up happening in the end was my parents were visiting Europe and they were able to purchase this for me in Paris. And because of that, I got a significant price discount on that. And that was because of the VAT refund. So I ended up paying about $350 for this piece. I don't regret it for that price whatsoever. As I said, it is definitely one of my favorites. Let me know if you have a key pouch in your collection and if it is your ride or die SLG as well. Now, as you guys might know, my channel is primarily a handbag channel. And of course, we're gonna go in that direction now for my Louis Vuitton collection. The next piece that is definitely one of my favorites in the collection is my Pochette Accessoire. This one is in the beautiful Damier Azur print, and this is a discontinued piece, but I truly love this as a handbag so much. I also wanted to bring this out and show you guys it with this beautiful gold chain I have attached because this is actually how I will most often use this handbag. It does come with the Viquetta strap, 
which I do have. However, I prefer to use the crossbody strap because for me, I think this has a great capacity for just your regular day-to-day -day outings. And because of that, I find it's good to be hands-free when I'm running errands. And that is how I will typically incorporate this into my lifestyle. This is a piece that I snagged up for what I think is quite a good price. I purchased this piece pre-loved and I got it for under $1,300. So for me, that is quite a steal. As I mentioned, this piece is discontinued, but the last retail price for this before it was discontinued was $1,770 in Canadian dollars. And I was just thinking that was too much to pay. And now they have a more updated version of this where you get the Baquetta shoulder strap as well as a gold chain. That retails for over $2,000, closer to $2,100 last time I saw. So I am quite happy with the deal I got for this for a piece in such great condition. Another reason why I love this piece too is the fact that it is a little bit different. The pochette accessoire is so popular, but I do most commonly see this in the classic monogram print. So the fact that I have this in Damier I feel like adds a little twist to it. The other thing, although I love my mini bags, I've mentioned too, the capacity on this is really great. I can certainly fit more than all of my essentials in here and I find it fits comfortably. I'm not scrounging for more space. I'm not finding I need to downsize. So these are definitely some perks of this piece. Now, would I recommend getting the new one at the current retail price? I do think that is quite pricey if I'm being honest. However, I do also think it comes down to your cost per wear. If you think it's one you're really gonna get a lot of use out of, then I think that it is a great purchase for you. I would though recommend going pre-loved for this piece and seeing if you can get one in good condition for a decent price. The favorite I'm gonna talk about today is definitely my absolute favorite. I saved the best for last for you guys. And of course, if you're familiar with my channel, I don't think this is gonna come as a surprise to you because I have sang this handbag's praises. So of course, I'm talking about my beautiful Easy Pouch on Strap from the By the Fool collection. This gradient pink just absolutely does it for me. What I love about this handbag is that though this is not a neutral color palette by any means, Pink is my favorite color and I find that because I have this handbag, it actually encourages me to wear pink even more. So I can appreciate that. Any excuse to use this beautiful handbag. Now, having said that, do I still use this handbag all the time? No, I wouldn't say that. It does get used. It is in rotation, but I wouldn't say this is my top used bag. However, the uniqueness of this beautiful print is the reason why this is my favorite piece. The colorway to me just is unmatched. But even past that, I would consider getting an easy pouch on strap, even if it wasn't this particular version. I really like the fact that this comes in its stunning empreinte leather. And I am quite a fan of the turtle dove colorway that this bag comes in. This is really such a versatile piece in my opinion. It comes with this beautiful gold chain. This is what I use it for if I'm dressing the handbag up a little bit, but it also comes with a leather strap as well. And that allows you to carry this as a crossbody or a short shoulder bag as well. So I feel like the options are endless with this. And I love the fact that it's very lightweight. Again, the leather really is beautiful and the fact that it is so versatile. Now, one thing I will mention though, this is quite a small bag. As you can see, it has a slim profile. And of course, as you can see here, the dimensions are not extremely big. Now I will say though, it does fit a cell phone and it holds your essentials. So to me, this is a really great bag to travel with or just to run your day-to-day -day errands. It's gonna fit your essentials in this piece. Another thing as well, this piece has seen price increases. However, if you compare this to the most recent Pochette Accessoire, this is really not very different in price. Keeping in mind again that this piece is fully leather. So if you're looking at it that way, you definitely might want to consider this piece. Again, to get some leather from Louis Vuitton in a material that I do find is actually quite durable, I think that this one is a win and it certainly is a popular bag. And now that you've seen the favorites in my collection, I'm going to talk about the next piece that I have on my radar at the moment from Louis Vuitton. You might be able to guess which one this is just because personally, I feel I have a gap of a Louis Vuitton piece in my collection. And that is a classic monogram piece 
in some type of handbag or bag form. So I have been looking and trying to narrow down which piece I would want to include in my collection that does come in the LV monogram. Now I am a fan of the LV monogram because I do have two SLGs with that print. However, my other piece is a Damier Azure canvas and then I do have two pieces that are in Empreinte leather. And because of that, I still feel I need to have a well-rounded collection and the only way to round that out is to by adding some Louis Vuitton monogram canvas. So I had gone into the store during the summertime and I was really trying to narrow it down by trying on some pieces because sometimes I see pieces online that I am interested in, but then when I try it on in store, I feel differently about it. The piece that I had been eyeing was the Louis Vuitton mini bum bag in that classic monogram. There are some things I really like about it. One, it is a mini bag and you'll see a trend with my collection and that is most of them are mini bags. I also like the fact that this piece comes with a treated vaquetta. So on most Louis Vuitton monogram pieces, you're gonna find just your regular vaquetta that is very prone to staining, watermarks, those kind of things. And though the treated vaquetta is not absolutely foolproof, you can still get it dirty or stained. I do feel a little bit more comfortable wearing that piece, knowing that there is an extra layer of protection to it. Because I live in a place that has all types of different weather throughout the year, lots of precipitation, I do feel like that is one of the reasons why I haven't jumped on a monogram piece sooner. But this piece, like I said, I tried it on in store and wow, it really sealed the deal for me. I'm also really happy that this piece is just above 2,500. So for a Louis Vuitton bag, I don't feel that's completely outrageous. Yes, it is a small bag. It is the mini bum bag, but I like that I can fit my phone. I can fit my key pouch in there. Certainly there is enough room to fit my essentials. So that is what is important to me. Also, I love the fact that the leather strap fits really nicely across my body. I'll show you guys what that looks like as well. I really enjoy wearing it that way because I have a very casual kind of lifestyle and therefore an over the top fancy bag is not one that's going to get the most use in my collection or in my handbag rotation. But I do like the fact that because it comes with a nice gold chain, you can dress it up or just switch up the look if you wanted to. Another thing about this gold chain is the fact that it is not exactly the same as my easy pouch gold chain and that is something that was important to me as well. One of the reasons why I said I wasn't interested in the newest pochette accessoire was because of the fact that the chain that they added didn't really add value for me because it was the same one as the easy pouch chain. So for me I would have duplicates and I wouldn't really have a purpose for it. This chain is different enough that I feel like the price is warranted and I do feel like I can get proper use in its versatility. Is this a handbag you have tried on before or do you have this handbag? The reason why it's stuck on the fence with these monogram pieces is because of the fact I see some other variations that might intrigue me a little bit more. So for example, this piece has now come out in the Empreinte leather as well. There was actually a recent cognac collection and that color really had me thinking that I prefer it in an Empreinte leather but I still am leaning more towards the classic monogram here. But if you have this piece or have seen it in the Empreinte versus in the monogram canvas, let me know down below which one you would prefer because I am still kind of torn. And even though it's a fairly good price for LV, of course it is still very pricey. And I really like to think my purchases through as well as also give my purchasing some time so I can really make sure I'm making the right decision. If you guys could help me out with this one, I would really appreciate it. This is definitely what is on the top of my LV list at the moment. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I truly hope you enjoyed this video or found it helpful if you're looking to add some pieces into your Louis Vuitton collection. If you did enjoy, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really does help my channel and help my video reach more viewers. I really do appreciate all of your support as well as make sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you have not already. I am so excited that we are approaching that 1000 subscriber mark and I genuinely appreciate all of the subscribers that have been here with me. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.